Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please invite your friends and let us have a good time together today. And uh, for sure, if there's any Muslim who would call me, I will take your call in uh, Pal Talk this, uh, this time. Uh, uh, before I start, I saw a Muslim uh, quoting uh, uh, some from Ezekiel and he is making fun of uh, the story there. My, my friend, you can make fun as much as you wish. Uh, first, the story there is not about real people or individual. This is about cities and you like it you don't like it uh, you can go and hit your head with the wall however if you if people who worship wrong god in the bible and they are associating uh, uh, with pagan life this is com considered adultery adultery in the bible not necessarily is having sex as an example in the book of yusha it says that the earth committed adultery the earth uh, have you ever heard of uh, earth having sex but because you are just a Muslim I mean it's okay no problem however as long as you mention this don't you know that your prophet he said if a woman she have a perfume just because she have a perfume and she walk in the street and somebody smell her perfume she is a whore so if you don't consider the language in the Bible a good language for people who worship your own God, practicing paganism, and even doing their lust. It's about cities, not about a person. It's not about a she or he. How about your prophet consider your, your mama? And I'm sure your mama, she go to the mall and she have a perfume. I'm sure she don't like to smell like she have a, a lot of onion. So according to the Muhammad, let me show you the hadith so you don't say I'm making things up. According to the hadith, if your mama, she go to the mall and she have a perfume, she is a whore. Do you see it, my friend? Are you there, Mr. Uh, or you disappeared the second I came online? Hello? What kind of a prophet? I mean, she did nothing. She did not sleep around. She did not cheat in her husband. She did not even talk to a man. All what she did, she put some perfume. And you know what? I challenge you to find me one Muslim woman. She don't go outside without perfume. You will never find her. So according to your prophet, every Muslim woman, she is, excuse my language, she is a whore. Again, hello everybody, and today we are going to speak about the amazing knowledge of the Prophet of Allah. The Prophet of Allah is amazing. He is not only expert in perfume, as you see. I mean, this guy, he is Detective Colombo. A woman walking down the street, walking down the street, la 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 with perfume. Obviously, she is a bad woman. I mean, come on. Like, hello. And the funny Muhammad, he put a lot of perfume. So why if the woman, she put a perfume, she is a bad woman, but the man, he put perfume, and the prophet, he put a lot of perfume to cover his uh, dirty uh, dirt. He is not a hoe. Hello. Here we see the double standard of a filthy man who have a mental issue. This is a mental issue. Filthy mentality. You see, when you have a filthy mentality, anything you see around you, you you see you see filth, because you have you are filthy. You know what I mean? A filthy man, if he see any woman, he see nothing but something filthy in his head, because what do you see is what you think. I will I will make it simple for you. All of you, you have family. Let us say you have a daughter. Or you have a mother or a sister and one day you open the door suddenly in her bedroom and she was changing her clothes or maybe she is naked just to take a shower are you going to think bad about her no unless you are filthy you know what I mean because she's your sister so here we go you saw a naked woman but you would not think about something bad why because it's all in the brain it's about what you think it's not about what you see really so if the person in front of you is is uh, 
uh, like is not uh, your sister your mother uh, you might be tempted right because this is okay there's nothing to block it in my brain so it is what you see with what you think so if you don't think in a certain way about certain scene you will not see it filthy correct or see it bad but because Muhammad is a bad person and obviously he is the one who get a uh, look, look Muhammad here there's a hadith Muhammad the good man a woman walked by she did not have perfume she did not do anything look what he did read and love the Prophet he saw a woman she don't have perfume he saw a woman walking by he jumped to his wife he forced her into sex while she is uh, doing leather tanning I mean look how idiot he is the guy he have many wives the women she is doing leather tanning can't you wait no it's like a mule I don't know if you see animals like there's a horse or a mule they cannot wait that's it they see they see uh, this they see uh, uh, a beauty queen in the front of him so he cannot wait he's a mule this is a behavior of a mule this is not a behavior of a, of a man especially he have a lot of women even Muhammad he used to order his wife to put a sheet when she have her period I mean come on you have many women this woman she have a period go to the other one you see he's not like a a, a a Christian man he marry one woman right that's it Muhammad he have 13 and have hundreds of slaves for sex Do you see it? He ordered his wife Aisha to put a sheet like a I don't know what the word in English like a uh, like a diver or something like to put something in, the, in that area you know which area and Muhammad he fondled her And just to show you the quality, right? Uh, you know, uh, deal. If you want to just uh, post and, you know, we are uh, talking. You, do you want to answer us, deal? Deal, you want to answer us or you are here just to copy and paste? You see, we are here Christians and nobody dare to debate us. So if you have something, do you like to call me Mr. Deal? I will give you an opportunity. Otherwise, I'm going to block you. Do you dare to call me right now? Mr. Deal, nicely I invite you to call me. Do you dare? Hello? Because if you don't, you are just wasting my time. I'm not interested in kids posting copy-paste from website. Are you there? Now he will stop texting. It's like the puppy. You call him, he'll stop moving. What happened? Are you there, Deal? Just because I mentioned your name now, you're gone. I am, why I'm not surprised? I mean, the ones who claim that they can debate me did not dare to debate me. I will give you an option. You can call me and mute me. What do you say? That would be a good, you know, deal. Look, he stopped even moving. He's playing dead now. So look at this man. However, this is not our topic today, really. Let us go back to the topic. But if you post again, because the second I stop talking, looking at a different place, you will start posting again. Then I will block you. All right? Either you call me and show me how brave you are and how knowledgeable you are, and you are more than welcome. You know, I, I, I welcome uh, smart Muslims. Actually, I'm looking for them. But sadly, it's hard to find any. Did you ever see one, Mr. Deal? I will show you one. I will show you a one which you never saw before. His name is Muhammad. I think there is nobody smarter than the Prophet. 
I think we have to agree and this is your smart prophet saying that shaitan he sleep in your nose when you sleep I mean who can can be smarter than this we have to be honest if the prophet is not amazing a smart person he will not come with such a story you know what I like I thought about coming with a story like this but I did not like I I come with the story that shaitan uh, he throw boogers in your nose it, it did not work nobody believe me and then I come with a story I'm just trying to be a prophet like I, I want to be I want to be a prophet like Muhammad who can come with the stories which nobody can refute something like amazing like I was thinking the boogers is coming from where the boogers is coming from where and then after I read your prophet story here I got it this is the poop of the uh, shaitan shaitan sleep overnight he leave the boogers there isn't it obvious hello So you are worried about the Christians in the book of Ezekiel saying about there is two city they have lost, but you are not worried about the stupidity in your book. At least there is speaking about a, a, a community who committed sin against God. Not stupidity. I mean, why Shaitan will sleep in your nose? What's wrong with Las Vegas? Shaitan, he cannot afford it. As long as he is so small, he can't go anywhere. What about he go to an empty room in Las Vegas, five stars hotels or ten stars hotels? Huh? Your nose? I mean, do you know what you have in your nose, Abdul? I mean, the, the poor shaitan, Muhammad, he could not. And how small the shaitan is? Isn't it Muhammad? He said once he did tie him to the column of the mosque. If he is a per person who go inside your nose, it's mean he's so small. How you can tie him to the mo to the to the to the column of the mo the, the, the mosque? That's mean he's, he's even smaller than a mosquito because a mosquito, if she go inside your nose, will drive you crazy. So that means Shaitan is so small. You think you are so cute? You, I, guys, the, hold on. Let me. I, I'm gonna. I'm going to grab something from mine. Oh, I got shaitan. He shaitan. Today, guys, we are going to have an inter interview with the shaitan, which I got in my nose. I took a nap before I go live on air, so I can capture him. And the second I, I made him think I am sleeping, I closed my nose and I got him. And now he is between my fingers. I'm not going to squeeze you. Don't worry, shaitan. Come on, Muslims. They need you. Muhammad need you, uh, Mr. Shaitan. Uh, uh, what do you why you sleep inside the nose of uh, people? First of all, I'm going to tell you a story and I'm going to prove it to you. What's wrong with you? Why you are talking like Zach and I? Because we are brother and we are from the same religion. What What do you mean? If you open the Quran, chapter 15, chapter 15, it says that the Quran is what the Muslim. What? The Quran saying that you are a Muslim? Exactly. But you, but you sound like Zachary Naik exactly too because we are twin, and his father and my father is one father. Uh, what is the name of your father? The devil. Okay, so okay, Shaitan, why you choose to sleep inside the nose of a human being? What about like you take a five stars hotels, etc.? We have a dope and we have to accomplish. You have what? I, sorry, I did not get. We have a dope and we have to accomplish. You have a job and you need to accomplish. What is the job? To bother every Muslim believer. But I found you in my nose too. Because I was homeless. If there is a Muslim around in your city, there is no Muslim. I, I could not find a place to sleep in. But we, our favorite place is the Muslim node. And why Muslim node is your favorite place? Because it have a lot of accommodation. We have a free booger. They never clean it. What is that? Shaitan sleep in your nose, Muhammad. So how many shaitan? Just one or his family too? Let me ask you, do the shaitan do a party in the weekend in your nose? Like he bring like some beer. Look, look at this guy. He have a beer there. Do you see? He have a beer in his hand. Hmm? Uh, 
any Muhammadan want to prove that to us that this is a true story Muhammad is not a fool man saying stupid things isn't it really this is a foolish stupid story how in the world do you believe in such a garbage by the way I have an insurance for my nose I mean imagine a shaitan he occupy your nose and legally you can kick him out he put furniture he put his TV he bring his wife and his babies and you know in America if you rent somebody you have to have a contract so now I'm searching in Amazon I'm going to install a security camera inside my nose and a light sensor you know so if the shaitan get in the light will turn on yes I will use you know and not only that actually <clears throat> There is a way to find out if shaitan in your nose or not. Anyone knows what is the way I'm thinking about? Anyone? Okay, I will help you. Let us go to Muhammad is the help. Muhammad is the one who can help us. Nobody can help us as much as Muhammad. As long he is sleeping in your nose and what the nose job is to smell right all right the second shaitan he sleep in your nose if you want to find out if he is there say Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar shaitan right away he start farting where inside your nose that's so good I mean see see what happened when you are smart now we know how we can discover every night before you sleep say Allah Akbar Allah Akbar shaitan start farting and the smell is in your nose I mean you there is no way you will not smell it that it's it's impossible if we are Zakir Naik about shaitan farting in the nose I'm not sure what he will say but let us uh, call him Zakir Naik will never answer unless it's a three calls, you know, because he's like a prophet three times. Greet him, Prince. I told you don't call me. Uh, 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 sorry, Zakir Naik, but we have a, a very, very important question. I can tell an act three, look at you. You cannot even say two words to correct to correct it together. You don't speak Arabic, you don't speak English. I know this is coming. Uh, okay. Uh, so why why the prophet say that when shaitan he hear the sound of Allah Akbar he start farting first of all Satan is American what the Satan is an American uh, I did not get it if you go to Iran the Republic of Iran they say the big Satan and the small Satan and the big Satan is America okay and because he's an American they eat beans they eat what beans beans and when you eat beans, you fart a lot. And the word Allahu Akbar will trigger your penis, your uh, <clears throat> and you fart. Oh, okay. Well, Zach and I, uh, thank you for the consultation. Uh, uh, if we need you, we'll call you later. First, please, first of all, please don't forget to make a donation. What do you mean? Because the Prophet said in the Quran. If you want to speak to the prophet, you have to give him donation, especially if there's a private call. What are you talking about? You are charging me? Exactly. Because this is in the Quran, and you are the one who called me, and I am now serving the prophet of Allah like the prophet of Allah. Unbelievable. And from now on, each time you call me, I will tell you. Okay, what we can do. Thank you, uh, uh, Zakir Naik. Uh, for your call and no thanks for you unless you pay me first and next time I'm not going to answer your call unless you pay in, in, in advance all right no problem take care <sighs> chapter 58 verse number 12 oh you believe when you consult the messenger in private spend something something what 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 and and this is supposed charity 
see guys I told you private school expensive private hospital expensive private profit expensive I mean, I mean makes sense does it private do you see private private uh, private uh, detective uh, private uh, I mean private this was called private beautiful I mean how in the world people cannot believe in this obviously the prophet he don't want anything from your pocket he don't care for money and this is charity the prophet he give it to the poor trust me and the funny the Muslim they say when the prophet he die uh, before he die he give his uh, arrows or whatever like his weapon to a Jew what a Jew he killed all the Jews there what are you talking about before he die he give it to the Jew and he borrow money from him because he have no money I believe you and where we can find this story hmm. now do we have any Muslim if there is any Muslim would like to call us we will take your call in uh, Paltok you see when we are using uh, uh, Skype uh, I have like a fake IP which is re frequency changed but even if it's a fake IP they can flood it and I mean they flood it with the uh, and I have a firewall which will will block the the connection totally this is how covered they are they cannot debate me any Muslim anyone look forget about anyone any 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 seven like uh, Mimi hijab and uh, his team <laughs> mute him mute him <laughs> oh boy <laughs> who is a Muslim would like to give us a call it is in tafsir yeah but where this story is coming from what it is here Muhammad he killed all the the, uh, the Jews my friend there's no Jews left everybody knows Muhammad he take the fifth of the booty imagine 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 this the fifth of the booty one to five to him and one five to Allah some Muslim they say that the whole thing is one to five no problem and he I have the best of Maghani which means the best of the booty too not only one to five so how the rest of the Muslims did not give their weapon because they are hungry and suffering but the Prophet is doing that he is their leader right Aisha herself she get thousands of piece of golds just for her anniversary for marrying from the Prophet and all of this we can prove it right uh, what about a wise a wise al kami I'm not sure I don't think you are saying the name correctly can you post it in Arabic so I can understand you my friend don't post many times that's it I saw it oh boy okay look like you are asking me to uh, block you oh boy I will give you a chance you know maybe you did not hear me don't do it again I will, I will block you okay here we go <laughs> and what's wrong with people do we have any Muslim would like to call us anyone any believer so you know to make it simple I'm not going to stay long with you about this story when Muhammad he said those things obviously there is something wrong about Muhammad 
this person this person he heard his stories those stories are exist long before Muhammad and those stories usually they used to be taught uh, to children to clean their noses before they sleep you know not to have uh, like uh, uh, like uh, you know what they call it like you know the, the nost what they call it the thing in your nose not the boogers that the liquid so like clean it so like, like you keep your nose look look fine so those are stories they could then take them the kids to scare them that if you don't clean those things shaitan will come and sleep in your nose Muhammad they believe it I mean never say a stupid story in front of Muhammad anything you say in front of Muhammad he will make it either Quran or a true story in the hadith I will give you an example forget about the farting of shaitan which is very scientific and this is explained global warming you know they talk about the global warming global warming what a global warming this is all from the fart do you know what fart is check it out it's a flammable too it's dangerous never say Allah Akbar next to shaitan if you are smoking you will be burned because he fought a lot true this is true it's proven by science anyway so uh, <clears throat> if you remember the story of the the punishment of the grave the, the grave the grave I did I say grave grave a Jewish woman she came to Aisha and she said to her we seek refuge from the punishment of the no, no that's one. she's an old woman she's very old like she is 200 years old you know the Jews they can live up to 400 uh, Aisha we seek refuge from the punishment of the grave Aisha she looked at her what are you talking about are you stupid or what you're lying now she in different hadith says she told her that let me find the hadith anyway so the Aisha and this woman they start fighting Aisha she accused her that she is lying there is no such a thing. Obviously, Aisha is not stupid, you know. Um. <sighs> yeah, my friend, but all those stories are stupid stories. The one you are posting for me, anyway. Um, let us see where she accused her that she is lying. She told her, you told a lie. <clears throat> where is the story? Because here I don't see where he, she said you are a liar. I don't like to say something without proof. Give me, give me a little uh, bit of time to find it for you. Let me take it from the screen so it doesn't hurt your eyes. Sorry. Yeah, because she told her you are a liar. You know. Uh, here we go. We found it. Because, you know, we show it in the screen and yet they say to us we are fabricating stories. We show it in the front of their eyes and they say you are lying. Uh, here, a Jewish woman, and take a note, it's a Jewish woman as usual. All those stories, Muhammad, he got them from the Jews. All of them. A Jewish woman entered into me and said, the torment of the grave is because of urine. Urine, my friend. I mean, urine is dangerous. Nobody understands the danger of urine except the Prophet Muhammad. Urine. Actually, think about it. You're in. See? I mean, look at the connection. I don't know if people they can think like the way I think or not I'm not sure 
But let me explain to you the intelligence of the prophet. You see, even he knew that how English work before it it be he don't know English, but look, it says you're in you're in what the grave. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, a language miracle in the hadith too in English. Okay, just wait to make a, mir a miracle about it. So the prophet he discovered that urine will make you your in the grave. And then there is two angels, they will come and they will torture you. What, what the angels will do? Anyone remember? Anyone remember? Hmm? <clears throat> Anyone remember? Nobody remember. Okay, okay, don't remember, no problem, it's okay. Now, as long as you have a bad memory, I'm going to borrow money from you, all of you. That's wonderful. I borrow it today, tomorrow you forgot about it. I practice Islam on you. According to, to Muhammad, that if you, when you go to the grave and you have a problem with urine, two angels will come and they will hit you with the hammer in your head. Will hit you what? With the hammer. This is why actually I bought and I put in my will, like if I die, I want to wear a helmet. Very, very strong. I bought it from Amazon. It's used by the Marines. I'm ready for it. Like boing. <laughs> I laugh. <laughs> it's harder. Boing. <laughs> like, come on, <laughs> hello, and I will get those one. They use, I get this one. For, they use it for NASA. You know, they are very strong. They can take a lot of a pressure, and they come with the oxygen. So you are in the grave, and now two angels. They will hit you with the hammer, and they will make you go down seven meter. Uh, se sorry, seventy meter. I mean, like imagine you are dead in the grave, and now somebody is beating uh, the hell of you. Please, please, Allah, don't do that to us. Two angels, what? Why only two angels? Is that like a bad cup, good cup? <laughs> and not only that, they will ask you three questions. Anyone remember the questions? Anyone remember the questions? What what the questions they will ask him? Who remember? The first question will be, they will show you an, a picture. And this is not the first question. I think this will be uh, the third question. You know, I forgot. I've not read the story for a long time. Uh, and anyway, like it's reported different way in each time. Sometimes it's the first, sometimes it's second. Anyway, so they will ask you first, like, who, who, who is your God? Who is, what is your religion? You say Islam. If you say Islam, they will not hit you. So you are safe from the first boing, and there's no boing now because you are a Muslim. Good job, good job. They will say to you, good job, good job. And then when they ask you the second question, who is your God? You say Allah. I mean, look at this question, how stupid it is. You just ask him, what is your religion? Isn't it obvious that the, the person who his religion is Islam, his God is Allah? Let it go, let it go. It's like ABC, you know, stupid school. So what, who is your God? And then you say Allah. And then they will say, good job, good job. They will not hit you with the hammer. But if you say Christianity, man, they will beat the heck of you with the slash hammer in your head. And they will split your head and they will go down 70 meters. And then your head will come back together. Notice here. It's like, it's not, you are not done. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no way. And then they ask you the last question, which is very, very, very insensitive. They will show you a picture of the Prophet Muhammad. I think they grab it from Facebook or Twitter or something. I don't know. Sure. I mean, I, I thought it's haram to have pictures. A picture of the Prophet Muhammad? Really? And they will ask you, who is this guy? If you say Muhammad, they will not beat you. If you say Christian Prince, pew, boing. Mean. What the, uh, Lisa there, she is saying seriously. What the, Lisa? Since when we don't speak seriously? Actually, hold on, hold on. So some of you are saying seriously. What seriously? This is very serious. They are doing jihad for the sake of this uh, serious information. 
don't you see they are doing war and uh, because of this serious this is very serious let me see if I can find you the video I'm not going to play it but I can find you the title uh, <clears throat> where a Muslim guy was explaining uh, give me a second uh, I hate it when I'm typing, searching for something in Arabic, when I am, when I'm not in English, and vice versa. <sighs> Look how many videos in YouTube for the same story we are talking about. Look, 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 look. All those are made by Muslims. Must see the punishment of the grave. <laughs> genie in the ball and they make it graphic and <laughs> a punishment in the grave look look here they put for you a snake because yeah there's two there's a snake and a scorpion they will be waiting for you in the, a snake have 999 head sorry have nine head every head have uh, have seven head seven, seven seven heads every head have 99 head you know hmm okay uh, and then look at this me oh Zachary Naik is even talking about it what Zachary Naik will say I wish I can play the video but they will say copyright when you go in the grave there is waiting for you a scorpion and there is a scorpion from Saudi Arabia even the scorpion <laughs> You are buried in Pakistan, but the scorpion from Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love it. I'm, uh, so cute. I, 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 I really believe it. I, I really, really believe it. And, uh, okay, and what will happen after that, uh, Dr. Zakir Naik? And the scorpion is going to punch you. He will think you. The scorpion was think stink me. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I hope not there. <laughs> I mean my finger. <laughs> what a crazy cult. What a crazy stupid cult. Oof. But no, there is a guy, he is really hilarious when he speaks about it. Let me see. I'm trying to find it. Look, look at this picture. <laughs> Guys, if you, look how many videos, thousands, thousands. I mean, those people, they are fear. Ah, here we go. I found the guy. Torment of the grief. I don't know if this is the original uh, or this is my video speaking about him because this is an old video. This is the guy. When you watch this guy, don't sit in the chair. Sit in the floor. I, I trust me, you will flip over and you will break your back. You, you might have heart attack from laughing. I cannot forget this guy. He's a, he's a Muslim from Pakistan. And like he explained to you, like, <laughs> I wish I can play it. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, anyway, this is the guy. If you can find his original video, because I don't think this is the original. I think this is maybe me talking about it. History. This is eight years ago. Yeah, I think uh, if you click it, you will find me talking. And talking and uh, playing his video at the same time. Yeah, I mean, look, look at this. English, English, look. All of this about the punishment of the grave. I mean, what this religion is about. So what the judgment day for, and what the... the, the in the grave yeah he's told a story from the jews fiction stories and look they put for you the snake look do you see and by the way the snake maybe many of you do not know uh the, the snake will be bold 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 snake why snake usually they have a wig <laughs> not only not only that he's going to be blind what are you serious are you yes brother blind blind and beautiful <laughs> oh boy 
anyway you can watch and laugh and they add like sound effect music graphic look look at this picture here look at this guy this is in, in which language this language is that like uh i don't know what language is that is that like uh what what this language is Anyone from uh, sound like Indian, sub, like something from? I speak all languages except this one, <laughs> Bengali. Okay, yeah, in Bengali they write like the letters upside down. I mean, like okay, yeah. Oh, this guy, this guy is hilarious too. Protect yourself from the punishment of the grave. I wish, I wish I can play them because they will make you die laughing. And you, if you see how serious they are talking about, a brother and sister. Hindi? This is Hindi. Hindi, Bangladesh, right? Is Bangladesh the same? I mean, the, the, originally Bangladesh is used to be part of India, correct? And remember, <laughs> don't forget that Prophet Adam Peace be upon him. He was from Sri Lanka. <laughs> How lucky, Adam. You get the tea for free, my friend. You get the original tea for free. You are born, born in Sri Lanka. I wish I was born there. This is my favorite tea. At least I can drink some tea before I, uh, I go to the grave. No, the pee sitting down because Muhammad, he, oh, yeah. Okay, uh, she is, she's talking about the urine, yeah. Uh, uh, supposedly, you see, Muhammad is trying to copy the Jews. Muhammad, everything he tried to copy the Jews. So the Orthodox Jews, when they pee, especially if they have going to perform such, uh, such a religious service, so they have, uh, in Arabic we call it qawarir. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a ball, you know, uh, but it's for urine, so they they will not. There is no way it's going to come out. You know what I mean? This is how much we are, they are very serious about being clean, extremely. Muhammad tried to copy them, and the Jews they teach their children that if you do, if urine touch your feet when you pee, you will be punished in the grave. Muhammad he heard the story, he copied it, he put it in his religion. Anything the Jews they say, Muhammad, he take it as it is uh, true. And Muhammad, he, you know, people they start laughing at him because he do that. So if you remember the story, actually, if we go here, you will see we did not read the rest of the story. I said uh, when the woman she said we seek refuge from the torment of the grave because of urine. I said Aisha, she said, "Ya lame." She said the Jewish. No, it's true. We cut our skin and our clothes because of it. The messenger of Allah, he went out. And he prayed uh, to pray. And he heard the voices of the two ladies. So he said, what is this? So I told him what she said, which means the punishment of the grave because of urine. He said, she spoke the truth. Muhammad took the side of the Jews. He liked the idea. After that day, and look at this, look, look, take note. After that day, Aisha, she's saying, he never offered a prayer without saying, we seek refuge from the punishment of the grave. After the prayer. Never. Do you see it? So, if Muhammad is a prophet, how come before he never say, we seek refuge? From the grave punishment before what happened i will tell you what happened he was debating christian prince christian prince he said to him why you don't say inshallah and since that day anytime he post in facebook he will say inshallah anyone Do we have any Muslim? Isn't it obvious that this guy is uh, is stealing information? Anything he hear, he put it in his book, and he claim it is from God. Where is this uh, deal, guy? Guys, block him! Just to block him. 
Okay, we don't have time for stupidity. Either you call us and you know you focus on the topic, or you, you know why you are here, dear. If you are not here to debate us or to prove us wrong, be honest with us. You see, I'm giving you a chance to talk to me. Why you don't wanna? Why you don't call me? Aren't you here to prove us wrong? Call us. You see, we are not like the Muslims. We, you know, no. I will give you a chance. The second you start talking like a kid, a stupid kid, you know, do you want to answer? I will, then I will, I will let you go. But as long as you are speaking as an adult, mature person, you are welcome. And a, 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 a mature person, according to Christianity, not according to Islam, because according to Islam, six years old, you are mature, supposedly, like Aisha. She was very mature. Actually, she was dating at the age of four. You believe it? This is what the Muslim they say. She was engaged at the age of four before she married the Prophet. Yeah, you know, Middle Eastern women, they grow very fast. Uh, my dad, he was, uh, you know, engaged to my mom. Uh, you know, he was like, my, da my dad was three days old. My mom, she was like half hour old. And then they went uh, together to the Starbucks. True story. I asked my dad, like, you know, what is your first date? She said, yeah, I was like a few days old. I don't remember, two or three days. And uh, I took your mom. She was like half hour old. Uh, we drank uh, some uh, cup of uh, tea because, you know, her family and my family, they are very conservative. So they don't allow us to drink anywhere except in Starbucks. I said, do you have a Starbucks at that time? Are you serious? He said, yes, but this is Arabian Starbucks. It's called like, <clears throat> uh, like, go to the store and get us a box. Uh, it's like a different story. Any Muslim? Uh, chapter Al Maida five two. You, you see, we don't want to we don't want to change the topic. Let us focus on the topic. The topic today, uh, because you know, if we keep jumping from place to place, I'm trying to show the people here how this man is a mad person. I mean, be honest with yourself. It doesn't matter what is your religion. You are Hindu. You are a Christian. You are a Jewish. You are a Muslim. You are a Buddha. You are an atheist. Uh, whatever you are. I mean, how in the world anyone can believe that this man can be taken seriously? I make your day brighter. You know what? Uh, <clears throat> they told me that uh, that the Prophet Muhammad, his real name is LED, because the Quran says that the Prophet Muhammad, Sirajan Muniran. What does that mean? He is a brilliant light, LED. Let me show you. I think you are talking about Prophet Muhammad, not about me. The one who says you make my day brighter. Here we go. Wada'iyan ila Allahi bi'idnihi wa sirajan muniran. This is why the Shia, they believe that Muhammad is not a human. He's light. He came in the form of a human, him and his family. But they are LED light. They were in the forehead of Allah. And actually, yes, actually, even my family, we used to be LED light in the forehead of uh, Allah. If there is any Muslim you don't believe me, I can show you the reference. Anyway, don't take me out of the topic, guys. Come on, what what are you doing to me? That is for that is Vogas. That is Vogas. <laughs> now, uh, <clears throat> do you know why why really uh, Muslims they they avoid talking to me? Anyone like know the reason? What is the real reason Muslims they don't dare to call me? Especially those who claim to have knowledge. What is the real reason? <clears throat> Behind the Hilal and Islam, maybe later, remind me, no problem. <clears throat> what is the real reason uh, those who claim to be scholars, they don't dare to call me? What do you think? Yeah, but why are you scared? 
you know, I cannot control the conversation because you can you see, no, I don't control the conversation. I dictate the question and I say, you can ask me, I can ask you. If you try to run away from that question, I will insist that you will answer. I will not hang up on you and I will make you answer. You like it or not? How I can control the, you know. Go and see all the debate I have with all those who claim to be a PhD and etc. You will see. You know. No, the reason they they uh, not because I speak Arabic only, because whatever they speak about, I am not a person who learn some stuff about Islam and coming to speak about whatever they speak about. I will get them busted. And as fast as less than 20 seconds, give me the give me the reference in less than 20 seconds. <laughs> uh, direct the conversation. Okay, no problem. Yeah. No, because with, first of all, with me they cannot play. Secondly, whatever they say, I will get them busted. It doesn't matter what you say. Here we go. I have a challenge. Who is a Muslim on a call me? And you give me only three words. Not four, not four. Choose of your choice, three words. And I will find you a story you will be ashamed of about your prophet. What do you say? I mean, sound like mission impossible. Just the three words, challenge. What do you say, anyone? <clears throat> Nobody. Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody. Da, da, da. Nobody. Yeah, because any topic, you see, like when when me, uh, like this guy, he was like we can't call it debate. Uh, he says to me, uh, "Give us the reference in twenty seconds." He never thought I'm going to give him reference from the middle of nowhere in less than ten seconds. And the idiot he was preparing for a uh, for a uh, uh, usually I like I give a reference for Ibn Kathir the other book. So he start answering about other book, but not the book I quote. I quote it. <laughs> and this is why they are scared, because it doesn't matter what they say. In the speed of light, I will get them busted. And actually, this is why you guys are here. They cannot outsmart us. They cannot claim that they have knowledge. We have it, they don't. And they cannot have logic because they are following the stupid logic and logical religion. So what we do, we use their stupid logic against them. <clears throat> my voice is nice. Well, you will see me singing here. I'm talking what my voice is nice. Secondly, my voice is not nice. Just, just to let you know, I have like a, uh, I have a microphone. Cost me. Uh, uh, I, I bought it from a very expensive store, Walmart. Extremely expensive mic. This kind of mic, actually, you buy it. That you like, you tell them like what like uh, what kind of voice you like. And then the mic will make your voice anything you want. This is a true story, by the way. Sahih al Bukhari, hadith number uh, 0000. Now, guess where you are taking me from? Let us go back to our topic. Okay. So now the Prophet, he discovered where Shaitan he sleep. What about where Shaitan he pee? What do you say? Anyone knows where Shaitan he pee? No, 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 I don't have a new mic. No, I did not buy a new. I'm just joking with you. I bought nothing. The only thing I bought since a few months ago, I was looking for a shoe since a year, and finally I found a shoe. Finally. So where the shaitan hippie? Anyone knows? No. He pee in the ears. Let me show you the hadith. 
because you are missing the whole knowledge. I mean, come on. This is this is Discovery Channel uh, Prophet Muhammad. He knew everything. I mean, how the Prophet he knew this? You tell me. Let us see the hadith. Here we go. Do you see it? And it makes sense. Shaitan, he's sleeping here, knows. If we go at night, where he will go? Hello? If a man he slept until the morning, shaitan he urinated in his ears, and this is proving to be uh, very accurate. I mean, think about it. Think about it. Uh, let us say, uh, put yourself in his shoe, Mr. Shaitan. <laughs> All right, put yourself in his shoe. You are sleeping here. This is the hole. Look how big the hole, man. This is a garage. This is not. This is a cave. And then you want to pee. Where you will go? Either here in his mouth, and actually, yes, I will show you a hadith about it, but this is a different story, or in his ears. But because you know, this is uh, at night time, your mouth supposedly will be closed most of the time, so he will pee in your ears. But do you believe that Muhammad he said that shaitan he would do something in your side of your mouth? Hey, no, I did not buy yellow shoes. <laughs> Anyone knows why uh, why uh, Muslims are forbidden from yawning? Anyone knows why a Muslim he don't she should not do yawning? <clears throat> Okay, let me share some information with you. First of all, Allah, He loves most those who sneeze. Just to let you know. Hachu, <laughs> when you, see, you have cold, you sneeze, Allah, He loves you. Allah will be like in heaven, like, ha, 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 do it again, do it again. Ha, 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 hachu. Do it, come on, don't stop. Look, it's in front of you, I'm not making things up. I'm not making things up Muslims do you see it and then when you do yawning shaitan when you do ah, ah, ah you know shaitan he will jump inside your mouth and he will start laughing like ha, 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 ha. do you see it Muslims am I making things up or this is true Actually, I remember many years ago, I opened a chat room in the Islamic section in Paltok. It's called, let us sneeze and make Allah happy, or for the sake of Allah. I forgot the name. The Muslim got so upset from me, as usual. This prophet is really, really intelligent. I'm really, don't you like to have a prophet like this? Who here like to have a prophet like this? Be honest with me. If you like to have a prophet like this, you can purchase him from Amazon or eBay. Only made in Arabia. This is what we imported to the world. Stupidity. What they say, they say to me, are you an Arab? I say yes. Are you proud about being Arab? Absolutely. Look at the knowledge we give to the world. How the world they will know this? Nobody knows this. It is us. I'm so proud. We are the Arab. We gave you this knowledge. Otherwise, without us, you are ignorant. You are an idiot. Me? <laughs> so, my friend, I'm not going to stay long with you. Uh, please download the video. Share it with everybody. As you see, this is a very stupid cult. This is a very stupid cult. And there is no way that anyone he have a little intelligence he will believe in such a madness this man who was taking advantage of a bunch of naive people around him and even the Arab most of them they did not believe in him and they knew he's a liar 
and they say to him this is fairy tales we don't believe in it so he got some gang in Arabic we we, we have something called a Sa'alik Sa'alik ul Arab anyone who speak Arabic he live in the Middle East tell him the word Sa'alik he knew what does that mean exactly Sa'alik is like the outlaw criminals the pirate he conducted the Sa'alik he told them join me and instead of being called a thief a criminal you will become a hero and I will give you your share why did Muhammad think these things would why would Satan do all those things to Muslims no it's not about you see what Satan will you know you, you see uh, you get a fool and he cannot keep his mouth shut and this is the problem if I bring you a person to your house wearing a suit he look fine you know like uh, uh, maybe you're holding a Samsonite you have a glass in his eyes you might think this guy is a professor until he start talking and that is the story of Muhammad Muhammad he cannot stop talking because he feel that he is not a qualified so he keep talking telling stupid stories so people will so he, because he noticed people they have attention when he's telling those stories those stories is like a for him is like the hunt he feel like he is the star this is how a foolish man he think people are laughing at him you see if you go in the Quran you will see how many times the Arab they laugh at him <clears throat> actually when Muhammad he went to the city of at -Taif, the people of at -Taif, they spank him badly literally you know they did beat him badly badly and they said to him literally Allah could not find anyone to send as a prophet except you and I changed the Muslim to say I'm lying. And then Muhammad the coward, he did not go back to Aisha to tell her what happened to him. He stayed almost for three weeks, almost more than, uh, you know, that we don't know exactly, three weeks, four weeks, uh, out of the town until he recovered from the beating. The kids beat him. The adult, they spit on him. And then when he went out from the meeting, kids, they start beating him. With rocks and etc and Muhammad he told them please don't tell what happened to me to my town look how I mean why why you want to hide it if this is if they are bad they are good so why you don't want to so he he told them not to tell what happened to him you see the fraud go there and tell them they reject me tell the truth but he's a liar he was ashamed so he stayed out of the town for a few weeks until he recover and when he went there, instead of thinking that nobody knows, he found that the news is all over. <clears throat> he called me pig. No problem. He can call me pig as much as you want. You see, we don't want to go down to the level, my friend. Just focus with me. As you see here, you see, the reason I talk to this kind of people, because I want to show the Christians that they are no one. I know they will not debate me. I know they will not dare to speak to me. I know they will call me names. Uh, you know, I mean, it's okay. This is what this is who they are, and this is, this is what they do to everybody. Nothing is special, right? And they do to each other too. They do to each other. So, my friend, the topic is not this guy and that guy. Be smarter. Don't go down to their level. The second you change the head of the direction from the head of the snake, which is the prophet and the cult of Islam, they won. Because now you are focusing on a stupid idiot kid saying stupid things. You know what I mean? Be smarter. We did what we need to do, and everybody saw everybody saw that they are no one. And this is exactly what I wanted to accomplish. Nobody can debate me. They keep running away. Where okay, we challenge Zakir Naik, we challenge Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali, what what a kid. Uh, this guy, we can't even call him a kid. Uh, where, where is the Muslim scholars? 
we cannot find them and the reason is very simple they knew they are no match trust me if you see if you are somebody they think they can beat you they will be fighting over debating you you know what I mean they will be fighting they will not hesitate for a second it's like yummy let us get him but they cannot do it with me uh, <clears throat> and you know what uh, what uh, did you see what the, the guy yesterday he came here he says uh, Christian Prince why the Christians are not donating to you no more you idiot we don't have donation in, in, in YouTube for a long time what do you see the option for donation if there is an option for donation in YouTube you will see a sign of dollar what does this have to do no the Christians are donating here we go actually uh, okay I will answer you about Hillel no problem actually I just received I mean there you guys are really great somebody he sent me a message saying if you need a microphone etc just let me know please you know so you know uh, people always help and people they are wonderful and I don't talk about donation like uh, this guy hijab each time he go online and the first thing he do buy this thing he have like a little something in his hand you know I mean what is this this is how low they are and they are debating me and they are talking about they collecting 10,000 pounds this is the whole the whole the, the everything they have there is just about collecting money and following the Muslims and they cry 100,000 Muslim left leave Islam a year please donate for us we are the one who uh, yeah, yeah yesterday we have somebody left Islam and he was a follower of Mimi uh, Hijab anyway we don't want to mention them uh, let us stay away from this topic and don't go down to their level uh, <clears throat> now somebody he says Hilal Hilal okay what uh, if I talk about Hilal it's not going to be fair because somebody else asked me about a chapter in the Quran I did not answer I said later that's finished the topic right so my friend remind me next time we go on air but the Hilal is simply Hilal is simply uh, which is a crescent moon actually let me let me do something fast I will type the word Hilal in Arabic and then I will divide it all right this is the word Hilal and now I will type it after I divide it uh, this thing the, there's no space there's no space I don't know I'm using a software I bought for uh, you know for this uh, okay here we go Hilal All right. Hilal is not, uh, uh, you know, uh, a word. Uh, I mean, it's not an Arabic word. If you go to the Aramaic or you go to the Hebrew, you will see this is the origin of the word where it's coming from. And it is a word about the moon. But the moon have shapes so if you go if you see the moon and the moon is full that is called shahar today in the arabic language the word shahar mean month but the fact is the word shahar mean moon so every new moon is a new month so by time the word shahar which is moon became the word month in Arabic and this is not an Arabic word so shahar is the full moon usually uh, and Muhammad he used it in the Quran wrongly and I will I will explain to you if you go in the Quran
See, this will be a topic by itself. When Muhammad, he said, that the one of you who witness the month of Ramadan, as the Muslim, they translate, Chapter 2, verse 185. It says Ramadan is the month which was sent down the Quran. The fact it doesn't say it's a month. It says it is the moon. This is the moon of Ramadan. And then it says, and the one who of you who witnessed that moon, who witnessed that moon, Not the one, like it's not the you see, Femen Shahida. Shahida is seen, eyesighting. This is why the Muslims, when they will celebrate uh, the start of Ramadan or even celebrate the end of Ramadan, they do what? They wait for eyesighting. Correct? So Muhammad, because he is copying other belief and other calendars, he made a mistake. <clears throat> he made a big mistake. Number one, he changed the calendar, which is the Arabic calendar. which is taken from people who they are not Arab in the beginning. And they took the calendar and they changed the date when the year started. And by doing that, the calendar is not fixable, not, not, fix, not fixed no more, became flexible. All right? This is a Muslim website is explaining to you here when Ramadan is going to start. This is the topic in the top. Here it says better. Better mean full perfect moon. Shiny moon. Here it is a new moon, and here is the crescent moon. The Muslims will fast when? If you could change the translation for this uh, uh, Quran verse, let us see. We will try a different translation. Read with me carefully. When you sight the crescent moon, does it say that? When you sight the crescent moon, the word here, shahar, should not be exist there because he should say the hilal. Are you getting my point? Because shahar is a word mean moon, not month. Here the word appeared twice. Shahar Ramadan, Shahar Ramadan. And then he says, Faman Shahida Minkum, the one who witness a shahar, the moon. What, 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 what moon? The crescent moon. So it was a mistake because Muhammad is an idiot. He do not know what the word mean. This is not an Arabic word. This is starting from actually. If, if you go to the to the Hebrew, until now is used. Shahar, and you know because they, they use the moon calendar, uh, the word shahar by time nobody is using that calendar. Uh, it it uh, it transformed to be a word mean uh, month. The fact it is a new moon. This is why the Sabian 
they used to fast in uh, in the uh, uh, with the end of the old moon and they end the fasting with the new moon so they go they start first fasting in Haran and then they go to other city close to it and then they welcome the new moon there and they celebrate the Eid and this is where Muhammad he got his Ramadan from now for sure we can give more details for this Yeah, he
Uh, all right, I apologize, guys. Uh, it happened again. Uh, we will see what is the story. Yeah. We will see what the story. Uh, anyway, you know, like maybe we will uh, we will continue about this topic uh, with more details because this is really a big topic and it's kind of uh, complicated. Uh, but it needs some knowledge in the language, not only just... Uh, this is why I usually I avoid talking about those issues because uh, uh, if you don't speak the language, you, maybe you won't understand. You know what I mean? Am I heard? Well, I checked my security. I didn't see any problem. Because I have a very uh, strong security, it might be my security is a you know because it's so high, it might be my security is uh, disturbing the broadcast. Maybe, you know, I will check that out and see what is the real reason. Because I look at the security, I don't see anything. Uh, anyway. So the word shahar, to make it simple, the word shahar is not really the word month, but it's used today as a word mean month. The word shahar is a word mean moon. And when the Muslim, they say to you, the word shahar appear in the Quran at uh, uh, 12 times, that's alive, uh, for very simple reason. Not only it's not correct, because this is not the word mean month, this is mean moon. Secondly, there is a word which is called ahilla. <clears throat> Let me. You see here, yes, alunaka anil ahilla. But those ignorant, they do not speak the language and they have no knowledge. Do you see here it says the new moons? Do you see the new moons? This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. All right. So al ahilla is uh, like uh, you say moon and moons. Are you getting my point? But this is the crescent moon. So they are asking you, anil ahilla, and here is coming uh, uh, still uh, you know um, coming in a funny way. Muhammad is saying that the ahilla. Is uh, Allah he made them for signs and he think that they are moons not the same moon Do you see the the scientific mistake as error here? He did not call them. They did not call them the moon The moons why because as I said they believe this is a new moon so one moon goes a new moon so they think there's 12 moons And you see, this is the, the Muslim uh, translation, not my translation, you know. So they are asking you about the moons. Why Allah, he think there's moons. Okay, the, the people, they say they think it's a moons. Why he think it's moons too? Why he agree? He said that those moons are Allah, he made them for timing and for hajj. This is the purpose of the moons. No, not stars, moons, moons. They go by the moon, not by star. All right? So this is the word in the Quran. The Muslims, they, when they, they calculate the number of how many months, they don't know that the word uh, 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 ahilla is the same as the word shahar, but it's just about the look, how it look. All right? But, you know, as I said, I avoid speaking about those things because you need to speak the language. And we are speaking to people who speak English only, but it doesn't hurt to share, you know, what is easy to understand. And you can right now, you can search, especially if you have like a Hebrew, uh, you know, you can search on the internet, see what was, the, how, what is the, what is the word month, especially in the ancient Hebrew and Aramaic. It is shahar, you know. Islam is a collection of other religions, other beliefs. Other languages Arabic is not Arabic. This is not this is you see This is not what the Quran came with the Quran did not one was not exist in this language This is all is in you You see if you read the Muslims they have some uh, uh, like old Books for the Quran 
but it's not manuscript. We can't consider it manuscript. Like it's a, it's old, like maybe like uh, eight hundred years after Muhammad. You know, you will see it look different. And even those dots and tashkil and the, you know things you see in the top and underneath, all those small things around, those are not exist. The one who created them even is not an Arab. The one who come with those things is not an Arab. And the one who put the grammar is not even an Arab. The Arab cannot do it, come up with the grammar, <laughs> which is funny. The one who created the grammar for the Arab is after Islam, after the Quran, and he is not an Arab. Right? <clears throat> well, yeah, depend in the language you use about Hilal, yeah. Yeah. This way, uh, Muhammad, he says that the year for Allah is a 12 moon, not 12 month. You see, they lie to us and they say, that the year in Islam is a 12 uh, month. No, it doesn't say that. It's 12 moon. And here you see chapter 97, which is another st stupid uh, uh, verse in the Quran, proving to us Muhammad to be a false man. He said, look at this. He said, the, uh, if you pray in the night of Al-Qadr, Al-Qadr is a decree. The day Allah He made decisions to decree the earth and whatever. Supposedly, this is where Muhammad He sent the uh, He received the Quran too. Is better than a thousand moon of worshiping Allah, not month. And here the translator he calculated the number for you. He says, i.e., eighty-three years and four months. And look how stupid this guy. Just to make you see here in Arabic, it says, "Inna anzalnahu fi al Qadr." Qadr, you be the same thing. I mean, we send it in the night of Al Qadr. And do you know what the night of the Qadr? The night of the Qadr is better than a 1000 shahar. You see, just to keep the the rab, is they trying to make rab, stupid rab. So just because he trying to make it fit, he added the word 1000 month or moon, which make it stupid because how praying in one night is better than 83 years of, of a prayer. You know what I mean? It's not even fair. And why I want to pray all my life? Then I will pray in this night, the whole uh, one year, once a year, is better than 83 uh, three years of a prayer. I will make myself like I missed. I will miss what? Think about it, guys. If you pray, let me get the calculator. If a Muslim, he pray, Three hundred sixty-five x five. Total of one thousand eight hundred twenty-five prayer. That's it. So what I will be missing? Nothing. If I did not pray the whole year and I pray this year, that's mean. I will make 108 uh, 1825 x a thousand. <laughs> the title, the total is 1825,000. Do you see how stupid it is? So if you don't pray the whole year, you miss only 1,800 prayer. But if you pray one day, it's better than, it's, it's equal to a million and 25 prayer, 25,000. So don't pray the whole year. Pray only that night. <laughs> and, and, you know, what is going to hurt you if you miss only uh, one one thousand eight hundred twenty five prayer out of one million eight hundred twenty five thousand prayer just to pray one night but because this idiot he was trying to make a point and he did not know how to make it he exaggerate in his stupidity so he put the word thousand so he want to keep it with end with the letter ra al-qadr al-qadr 
So he repeat, and then he says, "Min kulli amr, salam on here, hatta matla." It's a stupid talk. There's no meaning. There's no meaning. But by adding this exaggeration, if you remember, once I was debating a sheikh, and I said to him, "Your prophet," he said. Uh, I forgot really what I said to him, but anyway, he answered me. He said, "The prophet always he exaggerate to encourage the believer to believe." Imagine this is a sheikh. So I said, "So you are saying he's a liar?" He said, "No, no, no." I said, "Well, you just said he exaggerate. As long as you say exaggerate, it's mean it's not true." Correct, guys. If I exaggerate in numbers, it's mean my numbers is false. I'm changing the numbers. So he admitted that their prophet is a liar. He exaggerate in numbers just to make people do what he want. So he exaggerate in the number of the virgins, exaggerate in the numbers of the children they will serve you in heaven uh, uh, or they will sleep with you. Uh, he exaggerate in the, uh, the value of this night. He exaggerate because he's a liar. And look, by doing that, by saying this, he admitted that this is a fabrication Quran because who is the one who is exaggerating here? Allah or Muhammad? This is Allah is talking supposedly, correct? So now he admitted that this is all is an exaggeration and Allah himself, he fabricate numbers. So Allah is a devil. And there is no way, use your brain. Who in the world would believe such a garbage that if you pray one night, where, where is, this, not, this is not fair. This is not fair. Imagine this you are a person who converted to Islam the day after this night and by the way They don't even know which night this night is Muhammad himself he did not remember which night this night Muhammad once he came and he he run he run to the Muslims He woke up from sleep and he come to them and he is like breathing heavily. They said prophet prophet. What's wrong? He said I remember what night it was the night of the uh, the Al Qadr. I said, okay, which night it is? He said, I forgot. If you don't believe me, challenge me. I will show you the reference. I mean, how stupid the story is. The guy he remember when the night of Al Qadr is, and then he, he ran. And some people spoke in front of him in the street. Whatever he happened, then he forgot. Why he have a brain of a chicken? Maybe we should make a video soon about this uh, issue all right now guys uh, those videos because we are having this difficult difficulty i'm trying to find out what is the problem uh, i don't think the muslims they can do that i'm uh, suspecting that this is a security uh, issue uh, like uh, uh, making me lose my connection uh, but i will check it out to be sure uh, I have a very high security, so it might be the reason. Uh, otherwise, when you download the video, you can cut it off and just duck it together. What we can do? Look like this is happening too much, or maybe my I need to change my modem, buy a new one. We will see. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here, and please, when you sleep, don't forget to put a cotton uh, in the front of your nose, because as you know, it's dangerous, and you don't want to wake up in the morning and you find a new neighbor. It's really dangerous. You go to sleep and you don't know what's happening in your nose. Shaitan, he can bring his girlfriend. They can do boom, boom. They can have babies. They can, I mean, you, know, you don't want that. So what I want you to do, there is a product Mimi Hijab is selling. You drink that product before you sleep. Shaitan, he will not get it close to you. As simple as that. All right? buy it before it's too late <laughs> anyway guys thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and as you see this is nothing but a stupid cult uh, made by a dummy for the dummies and for sure we are not dummies christ is lord islam is false and we prove it every day every day and we have tens of thousands getting Muhammad busted. I mean, I feel sorry for this guy. How many times we get him busted a day? And look at them. 
nobody can and nobody dare to prove us wrong. Who can who can prove us wrong with this stupidity? I mean, who can defend this stupidity? Do you see the silence? Who can defend such a stupid prophet? As simple as that. You have to be truly stupid to defend such a stupid teaching. And the one who says such a stupid thing, he must be stupid too. And the one who believes in it, he must be stupid too. It's a Friday night. No, it's not Friday night today. It's, uh, it's, it's not yet. We are not on Friday, my friend. I may be in the Middle East. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I love you all. Thank you all for all your support and all, your, uh, all the love. And thank you for those who send me messages saying we are proud about what you uh, what you did to those. I did nothing. Those are just a bunch of kids. I wish we have a debate so we can have fun. But they are a bunch of kids and we scare them. <sighs> this is why. This is why. Uh, I want every one of us. Every one of us. To be a person who nobody can challenge him from those Muhammadan. Arm yourself with knowledge, save reference, make folders in your bookmark, take notes. One day you might need even to, to protect your child. Your child, he might go to school, he come back home, he says to you, he, I, I met a Muslim girl or a Muslim, a Muslim boy, and he told me this, how you will answer him? This is not just only, if you think this is only about you, you are mistaken. They target your children, they target your wife, they target your family. So this, what we do here, is the same very important shot, like flu shot. But it's very important, it can change your life. So you will never get sick. And this religion is a religion of sickness. Seriously sick. Thank you, and may the Lord bless you. And I will see you again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And close your nose when you sleep for security. The prophets say, thank you.